Hi guys, my name is Monica Marino and today I'm going to be going over what I learned via Video Vimeo School, so stick around. Vimeo Video School starts with the basics of choosing a camera fitting for the project someone is working on. There are pros and cons to both cell phones being utilized as video recording devices versus camcorders. Most of us have a smartphone on our person at all times. This makes the use of cell phones as video recorders super accessible for nearly everyone. And as cell phone cameras are becoming more and more high-tech, the quality of images is greatly improving. But they are still not at the standard most newer camcorders have set. The biggest difference is going to be image quality. Camcorders take image quality to the next level involving sharper, more detailed images. As evidenced in the video lecture, the sound recorded by camcorders is much clearer than that of cell phones. Vimeo Video School informs us on some vocabulary we may be unfamiliar with involving camcorders. Most people know what batteries and memory are, as well as what a lens cloth is used for, but some other terms, like pan and tilt, many of us do not know the definition of. So a pan, like panorama, involves rotating a camera from left to right while shooting. Similarly, a tilt involves moving the camera upwards and downwards while shooting. Getting a good shot using a camcorder involves being knowledgeable on the correct lighting for the situation you are in, as well as camera movement and composition. Editing one's video is the next important step after obtaining video. The first step to editing is uploading the content to the computer, which can be done via cell phone or camcorder depending on which you initially used. Uploading can be done either via the internet for a cell phone or via a USB or memory card for a camcorder. It's important to note here that backing up your video content is very important so nothing is lost during the editing process. Editing video is going to be dependent on the type of program used, and there are a myriad of programs available online or already preloaded onto one's computer, dependent on the operating system. Some terms you may be unfamiliar with involving editing software include a bin, which is where all the files for one's video are stored, and a timeline, which is where one would trim or cut parts of the video clip. Editing video footage and developing an awesome finished product may involve adding sound, text, and smooth transitions. When you are finally satisfied with your finished product, it's time to export. It's important to be aware of the codex, or the format the video is encoded in, the frame rate, the bit rate, and the resolution. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you learned something valuable, and feel free to leave me any comments or concerns.